the highest football league in Russia. It's Russian Football Premier League. And uh, the club from St. Petersburg, which is playing there, that's football club Zenit. Zenit already for four times in a row, four years in a row, was the champion of Russian Football Premier League. And today, at the 24th of October 2022, at 8 p.m., there's the game of uh, 14th, 14th tour of uh, the season 2022-2023. Football club Zenit playing with the football club Sochi, from Sochi, okay? And so here I'm next to uh, the Alexander Nevsky Square metro station from here directly will go to the metro station called Zenith. it will bring me to gazprom arena the fastest way to get now there especially on monday nights in a peak hour which is now it's like 6 30. So one line, five metro stations, 20 minutes, and uh, from the very center of St. Petersburg, we are on Kristovsky Islands, where is uh, the uh, Gazprom Arena. This metro station, Zenit, was opened at the 26th of May 2018, just uh, before the beginning of World Cup 2018 in Russia. Look, you're getting off the metro station and immediately see Lachta Center, which is the tallest skyscraper not only in Russia but in whole Europe. It's uh, the general headquarters of Gazprom, a Gazprom company, energy giant of Russia. Uh, Local toll roads, западный скоростной диаметр, western speed diameter. There is a huge flag of uh, Zenit, football club Zenit, and uh, Gazprom Arena. It was constructed special for the beginning of World Cup 2018. You see those masts? Actually, that's the pylons. It's the support for the folding dome roof. When it's needed, they can close it. And also they have a rolling field. So they can uh, move the fields out just into the streets. Let's say if the concert is here. Well, the concerts here may come up to 80,000 viewers. During the football games, 62. Yet yeah, a whole hour until the beginning of the game, but I see hundreds, well, thousands, thousands of uh, fans already here coming from, by the way, from two metro stations, not only from Zenit, but also Kristovsky Island, that's uh, the purple line of St. Petersburg Metro. Much much tv tracks i've purchased my tickets online just on the official websites of football club zenith the prices starts from 400 rubles so that's six bucks of course that's an upper seats behind uh, the nets the most expensive it's uh, equivalent of about 200 bucks it's a vip sector with uh, you know um, buffet, unlimited buffet and all this stuff. Well, I've purchased mine for 1800 rubles, which is 25 bucks and it's pretty reasonable. I am on the central tribune, well, almost in the center, in the lower tribune. It's really decent. The tickets came just to my email PDF. No need to print anything, just uh, show the barcodes and that's it. Well, QR code actually. Yeah. <laughs> 
even though many people however many entrances as well and uh, the queue goes kind of fast A very painstaking security check. Metal scanner. Stand back. Stand front. You know, like touching you. That is how the parkings looks like. And now that's the place where they roll out the fields when any other events. Yeah, it's quick. They just roll it out and that's it. The stadium is ready for another event. On Gazprom Arena here is uh, five hundred seats for disabled people. Let's get in.
Россия Airline Company. Something really wrong with football club Sochi today. Only 30 seconds minutes of uh, the match, but they are losing for nothing. And look, Sochi last season 2021-2022, they got the second place, so they were next to the champion Zenit. But this season, yes, football club Sochi is not as good as uh, the previous season. They are now on the 8th place after 13 tours. Mikhail Kirjakov, the goalkeeper of Zenit, really bored today. Eskimo. Pancakes. Pepsi. Baltic and Tuber 0% alcohol. Tisco TSC, it's literally sausage in a dough, almost like uh, hot dog, but just like very simple. That's it. Popcorn, chaburek. One of many fun shops here. Caps, hats, shorts, t-shirts, balls, signs. Keychains, pillows. Getting back. <laughs> the second time beginning. I believe there's the rain in Sochi today. Anyway, it's not the day of their football club. 5 nothing. 53rd minute, 5 nothing. Сегодня нам 
матчи присутствуют 20 184 зрителя. Спасибо вам за поддержку. 20,184 viewers today here. I don't know what happens. Maybe they need to go to the beaches of Sochi to relax a little bit. Whoa. That's it. The end of the game. 7 nothing. This is what we call a hockey score. Now the football players greeting their fans. From one side it was a great win, 7-0. From another side it was not the most interesting game because uh, here wasn't drama. I love it when there is a drama, when you're not like really sure, at least most of the game, who will win. Here everything became, you know, understandable already on the 11th minutes. Zenit scores on the first minutes, the very first minutes, and then the second goal on the 11th minutes. And that's it. So that's uh, when the players of Sochi, they stop to play at all. Uh, here Zenit got a complete psychological advantage. Well, the guys, I mean, they just literally, Sochi guys literally stopped to play. And 90% uh, of the game, it was just happening on the half of uh, Sochi. That wasn't like uh, much interesting. Yes, we saw the goals, but it was not that interesting in terms of drama. I love the games with drama. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed my video, you know what to do. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you.